Now that you have your custom actions configured, it's time to learn how to use them successfully in your AI assistant. The process is easy and natural with no coding needed, and by the end of this video, you'll have all the information that you need to create a robust and dynamic AI assistant. I'm Carson Long with Synthflow, let's get started. Start by navigating to the assistance page and selecting an AI assistant to edit. This video won't cover how to create an AI assistant from scratch, just how to use the custom actions within the prompt. Selecting the actions tab shows what actions are currently assigned to the AI assistant. And these are divided by actions before the call, during the call, and after the call. Actions here are not just custom actions. The Synthful platform includes other common types of actions. Within your AI assistant, you might see real-time booking actions, call transfers, information extractors, and send SMS actions. You can click on any of the actions to check or edit the configuration of the action. Clicking Add Action will let you choose what type of action to add. Depending on the tab that you're currently on, different options may appear. Before the call supports custom actions, during the call supports real-time booking, call transfers, and custom actions, and after the call supports send SMS and information extractors. Make sure that we're on the During the Call tab and click Add Action and Custom Action. This will open a window where you can search for any existing custom actions or create a new one. Search for a custom action that you've created. If it's grayed out, it's because that action's already added to your AI assistant. Select a custom action to add. It's beneficial to know what this custom action does and what variables it returns. With the custom action added to your AI assistant, now we can navigate to the prompt tab. Click Edit Prompt in the top right. Note the formatting information on the side of the prompt. If we want our AI assistant to call a custom action, we have to do it in a certain way. Here's a simple prompt for an AI assistant who follows up with a customer after they've booked a table at Carson's Cafe. We have the typical background information and we have the notes to provide the assistant with context to the call. Let's see where I use the custom action within the prompt. The assistant asks the customer if they want a table inside or outside. If the customer answers that they want a table outside, I have two custom actions that run in order to determine the weather for the day of the customer's reservation. Let's pull this text from the prompt so we can get a better look at it. My first custom action, called the Longitude and Latitude by Postal Code action, requires a postal code to run. The longitude and latitude returned by that custom action are then used by my next custom action. It uses the longitude and latitude to look at the weather forecast for that location. We then read back the percentage chance of rain to the customer. So let's take note of the formatting. Custom actions are preceded by a pound sign, while custom action results are surrounded in angled brackets. When referencing these values in the prompt editor, Synthflow will attempt to auto-complete the names of these actions and variables just to help you out. If you aren't getting an auto-complete prompt, check that your action is enabled for this assistant and that you have the name of that action correct. In this prompt, I use a normal variable, which is just wrapped in curly brackets. Now this isn't necessary for the function of the custom action. Within the configuration of the custom action, we created variables and gave them descriptions to help the AI assistant identify what values from the call to use in those action variables. However, a best practice when creating prompts is to be as detailed and obvious as possible. That's all that it takes to use custom actions. Add an action to the AI assistant, then reference the custom action and the returned variables within the prompt. But what about custom actions that run before the call? With these actions, you don't need to call the action within the prompt. You operate with the assumption that it's already happened. It ran before the call. And that means you can go straight to using the action results within your prompt. Let's look at another AI assistant of mine. This is an assistant that reaches out to a list of contacts attempting to sell them home repair or building services. I've created a custom action that runs before this call. 
This custom action attempts to identify customer information from my customer database by looking at the phone number that it's calling. If we know that customer's name, we want to be able to use the name in the greeting. Because this action runs before the call, I can include its returned variable, which is the first name of the contact, in the greeting. That's the beauty of actions that run before the call. The results are ready when the call connects. Following the best practices of creating AI assistant prompts are necessary for having a successful AI assistant. And being obvious and clear about how to use your custom actions and the custom action results makes a successful AI agent.